My, my name is Bryce Lundberg, and I'm one of the family members at Lundberg Family Farms. Uh, today, I thought we'd look at um, some cover crops and how uh, kind of how they're starting to grow and, and uh, the value of cover crops and, and what we have here. I just to maybe show you what we've got. We are, we've planted um, oats and vetch. So the, the leafy plant here is, um, is oats, and the, the more fine or, or, uh, or um, kind of a fern looking plant is, is vetch. Vetch is a legume, and it's a real important part of our overall cover, our cover crop and soil health. Um, the legumes will take nitrogen from the air and it will put it back in the soil. So the cover cropping is a critical part of, of soil health. You can see we've, we planted, we, we had a nice rice crop here. This particular field we had Ecofarm Arborio. It's what we use to make the risotto, like the creamy parmesan risotto. Um, and so you can see the straw has been uh, turned back into the soil. The soil is a nice, heavy adobe clay. And uh, this straw will decompose all winter. And the cover crop will go, grow up a foot to two foot high. And then next spring, we'll mow it all back down and turn it back into the soil and replant rice. The critical thing about the cover crops, though, is that in the wintertime it rains in Richvale a lot. And we need to um, keep the water from building up in the fields and drowning the, uh, the cover crop. And so what we do is we come out in the wintertime after heavy rains and we need to go through and find pockets of water and get them moved into these channels that we put through the, uh, the fields, like this drain here. You can see the drain already has a lot of water in it. And we'll come through and make sure that the water is moving out of the field so the cover crop's not going to drown. This is a really nice cover crop. It's got a great start, and it is going to be an awesome cover crop for improving the soil.